Hello everyone and welcome back. So today let's see how we can import lots of serial numbers in Odoo 40. So we know lots of serial numbers are used to track products. So when you're using lots, uh, we can track group of products. That is we can uh, track um, or store products all together in a one single pack and we can trace them. And whereas serial numbers, uh, unique identification numbers given to one product in particular. So it allows you to track the history of the item from reception to delivery and after sales. So let us see how we can import lots of serial numbers records to Odo 40. So when you open inventory, you can see that menu for creating lots of serial numbers. So here um, you can see it is already grouped uh, by, it is by default grouped by products. And when you open, you can see the details like lot number, product name, quantity, then company name, internal reference, then the all the expiration dates and description. Okay, um, so we can see how we can import these serial numbers. And uh, we have done a detailed video on how to configure and use lots of serial numbers in Odoo 14. So please check that video if you want to know more about this topic. Okay. So before exporting lots of serial numbers, if you want to have, uh, that is, if you want a template of lots of serial number record, just click on or select one record, one row and if you come under action, you can find option to export lots of serial number record. So here we can see the fields like lots of serial number in general reference product created on company. And you can see the export format. We can export uh, data both in XLS or that is, or we can export using CSV file. Then from here, that is left side, you can see available fields for this record. So you can uh, add fields to here, fields here. So just click on this plus button to add fields. So here you can see product expiration, whether to give product expiration alert or uh, we can add removal date. Like this way, you can add fields and then just click export. So when you click export, you can see uh, shown, we can save the file or we can open it. So just open with and see what all columns are added to this file. You can see the lot number is added. And then you can see general reference, product name, created date, removal date, okay. So I've already created a file for this. So let's import that. And if you want to export uh, all data, all records, just click on this and you can export all records. So make sure you just close this product group and then try to import. So it will be aligned properly. Okay, so let me show my file. Already created. So here it is stock production dot load. It is an Excel file, Excel file. So you can see the company name, uh, you can see the lot number, you can reference product cabinet with DOS. Uh, you can see the number here. Then create a date. Then I have set expiration date, product expiration alert. I have enabled it. Then removal date and quantity. I'm changing it to five. Okay, let me change it to then save it and let's import this file. Just come under favorites and you can find the option to import records. Click on that and you can load CSV or Excel file, but may uh, it is recommended to use CS Excel file because field formatting will be done automatically. So let's load file.
So when you load, you can see mm, these fields here. Columns are all mapped. Some columns are automatically matched, and you can see load to serial number. Intel reference. Got it. Mm, and from it here, you can it is possible to uh, match manually. So here we can search for the fields, and you can just click on that and add here. And if you don't want to import some fields, just click on this close and you can given the, that field from importing. So after adding uh, fields, you can just test it if there are any errors. Okay, you can see everything seems valid. And uh, here, if you try to uh, close this product and log to see the number, and if you test, you can see missing value for product because it is a mandatory field so you have to provide value for that okay so now there are no errors let's import the record so when you import, here you can see it is added. That is that lot of cylinder is created. You can see the lot number here. Then you can see as we have given expiration date, you can see expiration alert. You can see that here and you can see the product. And you can see the dates given, expiration date and removal date set on the file. Okay. Then it is also possible to record that is you can import file as csv file so if you want to export template you can just click on csv and then export it so i have already created a csv file so just in, let's import that so when you import you can see we can set the formatting option that is you can manually change the formatting options it is not done automatically then from here we can change the mapping color mapping and after mapping can test it then import it so you can see the values imported and if you try to import that is record with same lot number suppose if i am loading this Here you can see an error that is unknown error during importing that is combination of serial number product must be unique across a company. You can see this because a lot number repeats because uh, we are trying to import this record with same lot number. So we can't do that. We have to, uh, that, that is lot number. It must be unique. That is record must be unique. So that's how we import lots so of serial numbers in order for it. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to order at cyprocess.com.